How to know if you're being used for sex. Feeling like you're being used for sex is a terrible experience, and the dynamics can make you question whether you're overreacting. Notice how often you spend time together without expecting it to end in sex, how they react if you're not in the mood or are unwell, and whether you feel emotionally connected to this person. Trust your instincts and honestly evaluate your interactions to determine if you are being used. Method 1. Examining your interactions. 1. Notice what time of day or night they most often contact you. If their texts and calls only come late at night or when they're drunk or lonely, you might be getting used for sex. Notice if they ever contact you during the day or respond to your messages and calls promptly. If they text you late at night every time they're out drinking, they're likely just looking for a hookup. However, if you have regular conversations throughout the day about topics other than meeting up for sex, there may be more depth to the relationship. 2. Assess how often you stay in rather than go out on dates. Do they prefer to come over to your place or have you at theirs? If you suggest going out, do they seem disinterested? Remember, this could be framed as being romantic, but staying in increases the chances of having sex compared to being out in public. Some people are just homebodies, and that's fine. If the person you're seeing prefers staying in, consider how often you spend time together without it ending in them initiating sex. They might also make excuses about why they can't go out with you. 3. Observe how often your conversations have a sexual overtone. Review your text messages to see how often the conversation becomes flirty or sexual. Consider if you also discuss everyday topics like work, hobbies, or funny incidents. Observe how your conversations go when you're together. If they consistently turn sexual, it likely indicates that this person has one thing on their mind. 4. Take some time to think about whether your needs are met during sex. If the other person doesn't ensure that both of you are having a fulfilling experience, they may be focused solely on their own needs. If you end the night feeling unsatisfied and unheard, pay attention to that feeling. You might need to speak up and have a conversation, but it could also indicate that they aren't concerned about your needs. If you ask them to try different things or express your preferences and they don't listen, it's a clear sign that they're only interested in their own benefit. 5. Think about if they compliment you on things other than your looks. Everyone enjoys compliments on their looks, but if this person doesn't acknowledge your other qualities, such as your intelligence, humor, or compassion, they might have a one-track mind. It's important to consider whether you feel known and connected or if you feel like your body is the only thing that matters. Try asking them what they find attractive about you. If their list focuses on physical attributes, ask what they like about you beyond your appearance. This can prompt a deeper conversation or reveal their true intentions. 6. Consider whether they've ever introduced you to their friends or family. If you're regularly having sex but have never met their friends or family, it might indicate they aren't interested in a genuine relationship with you. Similarly, notice their reaction when you suggest introducing them to your friends. Are they interested, or do they always seem to be busy? Tip, if you do meet their friends or family, pay close attention to how you are introduced to them. You could even ask the person you're sleeping with how they describe your relationship to other people or if other people even know you're spending time together. 7. Give their actions more merit than their words. Someone might tell you lots of sweet, romantic things about wanting to be together, but if their actions don't align with their words, they may be using you. If they say they want you to meet their friends but never arrange it, they don't actually want it to happen. If they talk about going on nice dates but are always too tired when the time comes, it shows that it's not a priority for them. Conversely, if they say things like, I just want things to be casual, or, I'm not looking for a relationship right now, take them at their word. These are clear statements about their intentions and shouldn't be ignored. Method 2. Experimenting with different scenarios. 1. Ask them to do something that won't end in sex to see if they agree. Choose an activity outside the house that has nothing to do with hooking up, such as volunteering, working out, attending a community event, or just meeting for coffee. Let them know you have a commitment afterwards so you can't hang out all day or evening, and see if they agree. If they always make excuses or are busy, they might not be interested in anything other than sex. For example, you could text, there's a cool event downtown next Saturday morning. Want to meet up for coffee and walk around? I have to meet my mom that afternoon, but I'd love to spend some time together beforehand. 
Another option is to say, I've been feeling cooped up lately and need to get out of the house. Want to join me for a run at the park after work? 2. Tell them you're not in the mood and observe what happens next. The next time you're together and they try to initiate sex, say, I'm not in the mood. Let's just spend time together. If they stop being charming and affectionate once sex is off the table, it's a clear sign they were mainly interested in hooking up. If they say that's fine and settle in to just hang out, that's a good sign. But if they get cranky or leave, you have your answer. 3. Pay attention to how they act once sex is over. After having sex, do they leave quickly or seem eager to be alone? Do they immediately grab their phone or turn on the TV, disengaging from interaction with you? Try suggesting another activity, such as grabbing a meal, going to a movie, or simply having a conversation, to gauge their interest in spending time together beyond sex. Notice how you feel about the way you're treated after sex. If you sense you're being ignored or used, there's a valid reason for those feelings. Trust your intuition, it's likely you're not being unreasonable or overly dramatic. 4. Text them about something personal and see how they respond. Send them a text about a work issue or a conflict with a friend and observe their response and how promptly they reply. Look for signs of concern, compassion, or thoughtful advice. If they don't respond or give a dismissive reply like, that sucks, it shows they aren't offering you emotional support. Someone who is primarily focused on sex won't be deeply invested in your emotional well-being. 5. Observe how they treat you when you're feeling under the weather. The next time you're sick or feeling a bit down, let them know. Observe if they offer to help or do something to lift your spirits. If they show disinterest in seeing you or talking until you feel better, it indicates they're primarily focused on their own needs. However, if they check in on you, bring you food, or do something thoughtful, it demonstrates genuine care and concern for you. 6. Ask to meet their friends or invite them to spend time with yours. If you're concerned that your relationship revolves solely around sex, try to move activities beyond the bedroom. Arrange a hangout with their friends at dinner or a bar, or invite them to join you with your friends or family during your next plans together. Take note if they consistently make excuses or claim to be busy whenever you suggest meeting their friends or introducing them to yours. This behavior indicates they may not be interested in becoming more integrated into your life. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.